it asks to do some more tutorials on one-handed cuts, in particular the scissor cut. So I'll show you that one today. And I'll show you a much trickier one, one that you might go wrong, so enjoy it if it does. The revolution cut. There you go. I'm going to teach you both of those today from an over the shoulder angle. So let's get stuck in and grab some cards. Okay, welcome back over the shoulder. So the scissor cut I got specifically asked to do. Now it's pretty straightforward. Okay, you're holding the cards here in straddle grip. So you've got your two main fingers on the end, little finger, index finger, and thumb. Very similar to if you've really learnt the Charlie Air cut, same position. Okay. Now this time, while you're holding it here in this elevated position, your thumb is going to come over to the pinky side of the deck. And it's going to put pressure on about the top half of the deck. And then as you move your thumb back, you'll see naturally a packet of the cards comes away. I'll show you on the other hand, if you're doing it on your left, I can do it on either. See, there's the angle from here, like there. The thumb is a bit of a stretch, it'll take some getting used to, but you just reach over, do it there. I'll tell you what, with this one, I can do it both hands. I can't in the second one, but this one I can. So it doesn't matter which hand you're using. You can practice with half a deck or a whole deck. Here. Yeah. The scissor cut. Now, once you've got part of the deck, or a packet as the proper term, you're going to need to swing all the way out and then do this with what's left in your hand. You're going to need to turn them out a little bit, kick them forward to make space like that. And then the packet on top will naturally clear. Now, when you're practicing this the first few times, you're going to drop cards because they're going to clip each other and go all over the place. Here, clear. Then once you're here and you've cleared it, you just bring it back and put it behind. If it goes a little bit messy, don't worry. Because as you saw what I did there, I just, once I'm back, I can use my hand and then make a few little small adjustments. So with the other hand, pressure out, clear, tip it forward, tip it forward, get back in, tidy up. That's the scissor cut. Okay, I'll show you again, but with both. I quite like doing this mixed in with the Charlie air cut as a little warm up routine. See how I'm tipping it forward? It's easier with less cards because you've got less to clear. So do by all means start off with just a few and go from there. I hope you find it useful. Thumb to the outside by the pinky, clear. And behind. You know, the other cut I showed you there was the revolution cut. Now this one's tough. So the idea is again I'm in this position, but I let a packet drop down. Now if you've learned the Charlie Air cut, you use your index finger. This one you don't, you use your ring finger. Okay. Now I can only show you this using my right hand. I can't do this move with the left because I've never tried to learn it that side yet. It's it's a toughie. But this time, let your ring finger push the deck up. So it's like a Charlie a cut so far, just using a different finger. Alright? And then what's gonna happen is it's here. There's a packet in my hand down here. So we put one card to represent it. I've gone here and then the ring finger will come on the closest long side to you near the thumb and it will do this. Okay. And spin everything as it tries to come back. Now if I can find a rubber band or two. We get a couple of rubber bands. You might find it a bit easier to learn this one. A tip for you, this one putting these on. The scissor cut, you can do quite far away like the Charlie Air cut. You can reach out. 
The revolution cut, you want to be quite close because you need the full length of your fingers to be able to get where you need to go. You can also practice this with a couple of old library cards, bank cards or whatever, just till you get the motion right. Okay, so I've got one, two, and I'm trying to put, I'm putting my finger on just to slow it down. See, I come in, rotate, and the rotate is happening between my index, uh, index and ring finger. So it's that. Okay, that probably doesn't seem logical to describe it or whatnot, but once you've got it, the hardest part is really getting that finger right up here so you've got complete control. And then just moving your fingers, it will rotate. And then you just drop the rest down with your thumb and on top. One. Two. Now, without the rubber bands, it looks pretty cool because the top packet turns around. As I said, it's quite a tough one to do. If I, I'll just give it a go on the other hand, give it a try. Hang on. One. So it probably is going to look like that as you start off. Pretty awful. But there you go. So that's the scissor cut and the revolution cut for those wanting to get flashy and start off on cardistry. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Let me know if anything else you want to see in the comments. And I'll see you next time.